Dr. Humphreys, if you want to come on up, if you'll just raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony you shall give shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to help you God? Yes, to help Thank you, you God. Hello. My name is Dr. Suzanne Humphreys. I am a board-certified internal medicine doctor and nephrologist kidney doctor. I am also in the minority in that I have taken the past eight years of my life to intensively study the history of vaccination, immunology, as well as the components of childhood vaccines and their effects upon the body and the available medical literature. I listened to the testimony that was from last week, and I'd like to address a couple of the issues. Um, I'm not going to call myself an expert. I'm just going to say that I am an educated medical doctor with a board, um, with, a, with a medical license in the state of Virginia and the state of Maine, and I have taken on the issue because I witnessed my own patients falling ill in many cases immediately after being vaccinated, oftentimes within 24 hours of being vaccinated in the hospital with no other explanation. So I can certainly attest that while the vaccine injury compensation program exists, that it would not encompass the kind of injuries that I witnessed. I was met with a huge wall of resistance among my peers who had absolutely no information at their fingertips, didn't know the contents of vaccines, didn't know the history of vaccination, didn't know the medical literature. I showed it to them, and I am the author of a book called Dissolving Illusions, Disease, Vaccines, and the Forgotten History that has over 800 references. Most of them are peer-reviewed medical references, and we uh, go through the history of vaccination and dispel a lot of the mythology that I once also fell prey to. I used to berate my friends into vaccinating. I was that doctor. I was the doctor who used to guilt my patients into vaccines until I learned what I know now. Everything changed, and it changed to the degree that this is such an important issue for me that I've given up everything, a huge income, and I'm called a quack, and I'm denigrated by, if you go online, you will see, but it's baseless because I have the information and they don't. There's a vast oversimplification in the thinking of medical doctors, as was demonstrated last week. And it is based on lack of information, and I'm not faulting them as individuals. It's a systemic problem. Medical doctors are not taught what's in vaccines. They are given the vaccine schedule, told they are safe and effective and save lives, as you heard over and over and over again, and as I have dispelled in Dissolving Illusion, 